Hey my miri, welcome back to my channel and today girl I'm giving you 2021 a year in natural hair <laughs> You like the title? I just came up with that, I thought that was kind of clever Anyway, so we're gonna be talking about last year 2021 and the state of the natural hair industry So if you want to see that keep watching so 2021 was it was interesting for a lot of reasons it was different for a lot of reasons but in the natural hair community in the natural hair industry we have been noticing a shift and i've been really enjoying the conversations that we've been having as a community about this and it was nice, like, why not open 2022? Maybe a little bit late, I might say yes. I'm a little bit late, but it's still January, okay? So I'm not too late. Maybe let's open this year looking back on 2021 and then leaving it behind once and for all. But then let's look at, yo, how did the natural hair community or better yet, the natural hair industry, because there is a difference, how did it move in 2000? 21. I thought that was interesting and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so 2020 was the year where I feel like things kind of turned. <laughs> it was the year that I noticed that people were just saying for like, listen, I'm done with the natural hair community, okay? It was toxic. I think there were some key influencers who had been saying that for years but 2020 was the year that i noticed that people was just like listen i'm sick of it okay i'm done with y'all i'm not a part of the natural hair community no more people was disowning us okay you know how toxic you gotta be before people disown you and they're just like we used to be family we used to be a community but we not no more because i'm sick of all of your ish okay that's what happened in 2020 and we just had to sit in the corner and take a long, hard look at ourselves and say, yes, indeed, I am the problem. <laughs> so in 2020, you had a lot of drama with brands and brands were being canceled left and right. And then 2021 came and it was, it was silent. I felt like 2021 was just silent for multiple reasons in the natural hair community. So maybe it was just me, cause like I said, 2021 was interesting and different. Also for me personally, and I wasn't paying attention, that could be something. When it came to drama, I'm actually happy that there wasn't something that's like, oh my gosh, no. Which is good, cause I don't like drama. And when it came to launches, girl, 2021 was kind of, it, it was kind of dry. Not even gonna lie. 2022 was also the year where I decided to ask y'all on this channel, do you guys even still care about new product launches? And you guys said it, in fact, you do not care. You could not care less. And some of you said, I still care because I want to find products that work for me. And others were just like, listen, no. I don't care. You can make these videos though. I'll still watch. But... I don't care and I didn't know if 2021 was the brand just reading the room and be like okay people are not interested in a lot of new launches so let's not do that or if it was just like 2020 was when the C word came into the, to the world and people just didn't have a lot of time for pro time or resources for product development so that was 2021 there were still some launches though and I feel like there were some who really did make an impact on us and that there were others like girl i kind of looked at this year i didn't know how this stuff launched i didn't know so what i wanted to do is i wanted to kind of pile up the best launches for this year when i say the best launches i mean things that actually got people to open up their pocketbooks to buy something new and that's getting harder and harder and something that made a bit of noise because we be forgetting about half the stuff that been launched, okay? So what are the memorable things? How did the natural hair community move in 2021? What, what are we doing? Okay, what are we doing? And what are my hopes 
for 2022 because I do have some. Okay, so the first product launch I wanna talk about is by African Pride. It's their African Pride Coconut Water and Aloe line that they launched this year. And I thought that this was such a smart move. If you remember the pre-poo, if, you, if, if you've used it once, you probably love it. I don't know a lot of people that don't like it. And if they don't like the pre-poo, I don't trust you, okay? <laughs> That's going too far, but anyway, this pre poo they made an entire line out of it. When I saw it, I was like, okay, y'all about y'all business on 2021. Listen, people were excited. I haven't seen that much excitement for a product launch from African Pride or in general since I think maybe 2020 or 2019, which was really good. I've seen people in Suriname trying to get their hands on it, raving like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I've seen people from the Netherlands, oh my gosh, it got copa, it got copa, I'm gonna buy it. And I've seen people in the US like, I understood the assignment, I bought it, boom. So that was a really smart move. That line, I only tried the gel. I don't like the gel. That's beside the point. But I just wanted to mention it that I hate it with a passion. I hate that gel with a passion. I don't know that gel no more. I wish I had never seen that gel in my entire life, okay? Janine from Too Much Mouth has a, a series where she ranks things. And one of the lowest is I don't know her. Janine? Yeah. You, you understand me. I don't know her, okay? Listen, I wish I had never seen that gel ever in my entire life okay that gel i hate it with a passion anyway some people might like it if you like it don't be offended girl <laughs> different strokes for different folks but that gel no um other than that i thought it was a really smart launch i still love that pre poo with a passion for that they deserve a nobel peace prize okay i will petition on the street till they get a uh, nobel peace prize i won't do that but that's a really good pre poo So the next collection was later on in the year and I feel like that launch was also pretty smart and I wanted to talk about it because I've been noticing something in the natural hair industry, okay? The next collection that I want to talk about that was pretty memorable when it launched was the Curls Hair Under Dare collection. We talked about this like a few months ago. It's a smart move. The shift that I have been noticing in the natural hair industry, or at least with the companies in the natural hair industry, the bigger ones, they kind of have this whole natural hair thing on lock. And they're just like, we need to grow our revenue. So what are they doing? They're coming up with products that you can use, even if you don't have natural hair. Let's be honest, natural hair products, you can use them if your hair is relaxed. But because of marketing, people need to know, yeah, this is for me. So Shea Moisture did it. I think Shea Moisture also did that in 2021. And Curls was also doing it. With launches from Shea Moisture though, I do have to say, I feel like there, I wish there was more, like they themselves were creating more of a buzz around it, but that's a whole entirely different story that that's a conversation we can have another day, but we can have it. Let me know if you want to talk about that. I do have some thoughts on that. But Curls, they understood the assignment. What Curls did is they came with the visuals, they came with everything, and they came with a celebrity ambassador. And that's something else I've been noticing for 2021. We're going to talk about that. They came with Angela Simmons as their celebrity ambassador. Angela Simmons was heavily promoting that collection on their page, but also on her own. And that, that was incredibly smart, girls. That, that, that's smart. I don't know who came up with that in the meeting. But that person deserves a raise. I hope y'all pay her or him well. So back to what I've been noticing. The celebrity ambassadors. I don't know if it started really catching up in 2021. But in 2021 is when I noticed they really doing this whole celebrity thing. Cool. We have been seeing celebrities make their way into the natural hair industry being like, okay, it bringing up good money. I want a piece. I'm not mad at y'all. Some people have been putting in more effort than other people. Tracy Ellis Ross, Pattern Beauty, the, the products is really hidden. And others, it's like, I just feel like y'all just put your name on something and don't really, I'm not even gonna name names because I'm not messy like that, but it's like. 
we've seen the celebrity hair care lines and i feel like 2021 was the year of the celebrity hair ambassadors so that was that was interesting i don't have a lot of strong feelings towards it as a micro influencer a smaller one i am kind of like oh okay that's the opposite direction i wanted y'all to go in i, I was hoping that as we grow y'all started to see that micro content creators are you know re a really good move also for your brand as well you know aka move to me move to me but that's kind of selfish you know what i mean they're moving to the people with more followers so it's like cool don't forget about the little folks okay aka don't forget about me that's just something personal other than that i don't really have strong feelings about it strong opinions about it it's actually pretty cool to see something that has been happening for such a long time uh, that celebrities are also influencers at the same time they're doing brand deals and stuff like that that the companies in our community now are making the revenue to be able to pay those checks so that's something that i don't know it still makes me very excited to see that like by the way i'm not trying to make this video long but i wanted to say it if you watch boom 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 what's the name called again selling tampa if if you have the lady from my yellow on selling tampa i'm buying a house for what eight million dollars i was like look at them I was just really super duper excited to see that because as an entrepreneur, that just is really inspiring to me. So that was, that was cool. Curls had Angela Simmons, Mayel. Speaking of Mayel, I think they had Meg Thee Stallion for like a really long time. I think that's like a contract that they have. So to me, it's like, oh yeah, the industry, the industry is growing. The community, <laughs> I feel like the community is just up in the air. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. I wonder how that is going to go in 2022. And then the last launch that I wanted to talk about, which didn't really make waves. No, it didn't. <laughs> For the brand itself, it did, but it's still a smaller brand that is trying to make its way up. So is it gonna make the same type of noise as these other brands? most likely not but it also has less resources than the other brand but the brand i'm talking about is melanin hair care so this year i feel like they took a different route which i personally think in the climate that we're in um brands definitely have less resources especially as they're um as they're starting out i feel like this was a good move uh, they came out this year with multiple accessories they gave us more colors in the in the head wrap and they gave us some stuff but what i really want to talk about is their mirror they have a xl fogless mirror i don't know if people bought the mirror not even gonna lie let me know in the comments if you bought the mirror did you like it would you buy it again? Because if I was not in the Netherlands, if I lived in the US, I would have bought it. Because she's been talking about fogless mirrors for such a long time, I definitely would have bought it. Um, but the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because it was such a different launch. And I feel like for brands, especially if you're not like a domain choice, my yellow, this, 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 especially if you're a smaller brand, you need to move differently in the space for people to really be like, oh yeah, okay. I thought the mirror was a good move and I feel like people should take notes. I don't know if people bought it, so I don't know if it was a lucrative move, but I think it's something that people will pay attention to you for, the, for a good way. Those are all the launches that I wanted to talk about for last year. Um, one honorable mention is TGIN, not really for a launch, but I'll just say like if we're talking about the natural hair community in 2021, we cannot skip over the fact that uh, Christia, the founder of TGIN, that she, she passed away in 2021 and I think even if we talk about natural hair community, I feel like I feel like the way that TJN handled that, uh, the fact that they it was so close to Black Friday and they were still, you know, executing things, it was just very professional. And I just wanted to give an honorable mention to TJN. One thing, 2021, that we have 
seen uh, in the natural hair industry is that the brands are getting more access. We can buy the products at more places. And that's true for the US, but also for the Netherlands. And I think also for the UK, also for the UK. But in the US, I've seen like, black owned brands like melanin uh, hair care being sold in Ulta and then also in Sephora I've seen they were already sold in like uh, Target and Walmart so you guys are getting more access which to me is amazing in the Netherlands the same thing is happening and we can buy Shea Moisture My Yell Organics in drugstores and for the Netherlands that is major because the Netherlands like <laughs> when we talk about stuff just being like decades behind that's kind of Netherlands okay brands from the US are coming to the Netherlands more officially now which is really changing a lot over here as well so that was really cool to see in 2021 before we go to my hopes for 2022 there ha there was one last launch <laughs> that managed to squeeze its way into 2022 and it was still 2022. My Yell Organics with the Sea Moss Collection. And I wanted to leave this one for last because this is something that made me think like, huh? Okay, okay. So I was on Instagram before Christmas. I see a company's launching a Sea Moss Collection. I'm like, oh yeah, that's really cool because Hubby and I, we use sea moss, put it in our smoothies, uh, natural 85, use it in her hair. I know you can use any hair. I'm lazy. I'm not going to do that yet. But if I can go to the store and buy something that has sea moss in it from a company that I trust, that's a win-win. That's nice. Saved the post. Yes. Kept going. The company was like, can you guess where we're going to be sold? I'm like, oh yeah, that's the they're hyping up the people. They was hyping up the collection. I was like, yeah, go on, tease the people. Give us some marketing. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it. The next few days later, or the next day, I see another post. Oh yeah, the CMOS collection. Oh, oh, it's sold at Target. That's really good. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, girl. Okay, okay. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. A few days later, I'm just like, okay, um, the first post I saw was Curls. Curls was teasing the product. The next post I saw was My Yell Organics. Both of them got a CMOS collection that they announced at the exact same time. I don't know how big the natural hair industry is, but natural hair community, am I the only one that saw that? Cause I went online, I checked in the comments, nobody was like, oh y'all got this, y'all got the same thing, which I think it's something that definitely happens a lot. Sea moss is a ingredient that is really trending right now. If I was a natural hair company, I would be like, yeah, I'm gonna make a product with that. And people go from people are gonna be like, all right, all right, I would buy it. I think they had the same idea at the same time. It's just that curls was teasing it, and the next day Mayel had everything ready to launch. They sold out and they restocked, I think, within two weeks yeah and curls teased it I think December 21st which was the first post I saw and I haven't seen a post from them again so I wanted to mention that because I feel like correct me if I'm wrong that's the first time we've ever seen that in the natural hair industry like two big companies coming with the same type of launch at the same time and let me know if you saw that. Let me know if you've seen that before. And I didn't really have like strong feelings about it because I think stuff like that happens. But I'm wondering if the natural hair industry is big enough for both of these companies to be successful with the same type of marketing at the same time. Because if I lived in America, once again, I would have bought the Mayo. I would buy the curls whenever it's available because they were teasing it and I don't have a lot of information about it yet. And I would put them head to head and I would see what I like. But once again, I do refuse. So I don't know if people would do that. So let me know your thoughts on that. While I have you here, let me tell you about the Mayel Organic Sea Moss Collection. It's 
focused for all hair types towards shedding. So if you maybe had a baby, maybe you stressing out, your hair falling out, you can try that. They do have a shampoo, conditioner, they have a gel mask, which is really nice, a leave-in conditioner, and a curl putty. Look at that. I remembered it all, 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 okay? So of course, one of the ingredients is sea moss, and then they have a list of ingredients, like in a post. I might just link the post in the description box, and then you can check it out for yourself. I haven't seen more information about the products from Curl Curls. Maybe I haven't been looking enough because it's the it's been the holiday period. So let me know if you ever if you heard something about that. I I, I still hope they gonna drop the products because y'all spent your money on it and I would like to I, I would like to try it. So if you've tried the Seamatch collection from My Yellow Organics, let me know if you like it. Is it hitting? I definitely want to try that mask. Definitely. If anything, I want to try the mask. Which brings me to my hopes for 2022. And my hopes are pretty much simple. I hope that the budget that people have for products, I hope that more is allocated towards marketing. That people start making a bit more of a big deal around marketing themselves. Girl, do you know how many products were launched? And it's just like, people don't know. You don't know. So I would like to see people make a bit more of a buzz around their product launches. I would like to see people become more creative with the product launches. I feel like you have to do that for people to notice you now because yeah, we're still looking for a good shampoo. Y'all told me clarifying shampoo. We need a good one. I get that. People are always actually looking for a good hair mask. I think we still need that nowadays and a good gel for type 4 hair like we still need that but come up come up with something different okay i feel like the way melon the hair care handled 2021 really smart uh so that's also my hope another hope is that is a more selfish hope micro influencing starts or nano influencing i should say really starts to pick up in the natural hair community as well so people who are uh, my size, maybe even smaller than me, maybe a, li a little bit bigger than me. I have a lot more chances of really making a career out of it. Ooh, something that I would think would be really interesting to see, and that would be 2022, maybe even beyond, is I would like to see it. Maybe people are already doing it, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if American brands have done this. American natural hair care brands. I would like to see the first influencer brand collaboration and they actually come out with products. You know how to do with makeup, that uh, Jacqueline Hill worked with Morphe, Jackie Ina worked with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I would actually love to see what that would look like for natural hair care brands. That would be really interesting to see. So what I do know that we're gonna see, we're gonna see influencers come out with more of their own products. Um, Amber Ansa, like I said in a few videos back, in some of these updates that she's working on her uh, product line, but those are individual people that their resources, that have their limited resources, they're having their limited capacity. So that takes time. I would really love love to see a collaboration so yeah that's it for this video today i hope you enjoyed the conversation if you did give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments i definitely want to do these videos from time to time let's get a feel for like what are we doing as a whole okay like can we get our act together let's get it together so that was it for me I hope you have an amazing week. I hope your day is going like really, really well. And that something along the way surprises you in a good way. Okay, have a wonderful day, you wonderful human being. If you are new, please do subscribe to become part of the Family Squad, which is our squad that we have over here. Family means family, so if you subscribe, not only is it free, we gonna be family, girl. So yeah, is that everything I wanted to tell you? I think it is. I'm gonna just show you the videos. I will see you in the next one. And the videos are gonna be in the end card. I'm sorry, girl. I haven't done this for a very long time. Need to get into it. 
have a wonderful day you and for you and being bye